Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Eric Brown, and I've been taking this MSM organic powder for about a year now. And I've, I've, I struggle with gouty arthritis in my feet. And before then, I have crutches, I have a cane, and I'm only 35 years old. But uh, as, soon as, I, as, as long as I've been using this, I haven't had a major episode since. I actually did a five-mile run around Stone Mountain just last week, and I'm jumping up. I haven't been able to do that in two years. But, but since I've been taking this right here, it's been a godsend. I'm walking and running like I'm a young man again. So you said like a young man again. I mean, uh, what does that mean, young man again? So, so everything that you did, you're saying it was like you felt like an old man. Well, it had me feeling like an old man because my mentality when I was wake up, waking up in the morning is I just hoped that I'd be able to walk today. It had gotten that bad. Uh, you know, outside of changing my diet, it wasn't enough. Prescription medication wasn't enough. It wasn't killing the pain enough. Uh, it would make the pain subside a little bit, but I still couldn't get out and run like I wanted to. Well, tell me a little bit more about the, uh, the diet. What kind of diet did you have to help create and cause the gout? Uh, I used to eat a lot of red meats. Uh, I used to eat, you know, burgers and steak all the time. You know, I'm, I was a pretty big guy. I used to eat a lot of a lot of sugar, a, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, bread, white bread with a lot of yeast in it and everything like that. And uh, I just wasn't taking care of my, my, myself like I was supposed to, especially if I have a condition like gout. So what about the diet now? What are you doing now? What are you eating now to make the gout much better besides MSM? I, for the most part, have eliminated red meat. I'm only eat, only red meat like once a month now. I replace that with like turkey burgers and things of that nature. Uh, I don't eat a lot of sugar anymore. I drink a lot more water than I used to. Um, and if you know, I'm a, a social drinker, but I had to. What I try to do is I hydrate a whole lot before I drink and after I drink. Mm. Uh, so that because uh, if you get dehydrated, it also affects your gout adversely. So. So I had to do a lot of uh, a lot of lifestyle changes in order to control this. But the, the coup de gras, the icing on the cake was this right here because it made all of that pain go away. Wow, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you, brother. Thank you for that testimony. Thank you, man. I thank you. I, I appreciate mean, it. Thanks for bringing it out, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, because I remember when I was telling you about it and you went, you went for it. That's good. Exactly. Thank exactly. you very much. So I appreciate the advice on that. Definitely. Uh, you're welcome.